a family in unimaginable greed after a 14-year-old girl was electrocuted in the bathtub while using her cell phone. You're not supposed to bury your babies. Madison Coe's family is speaking out for the first time since her tragic death last weekend. The teen loved to soak in the tub before bed, and she usually brought her cell phone into the bathroom to play games or listen to music. Authorities are still trying to figure out what went wrong. We do know that Madison's phone was being charged, and the charger was connected to an extension cord so that it could reach an electrical outlet. Does the extension cord make it more dangerous? Absolutely. The, the floor is wet. It's probably laying on the floor. It compounds the, the danger even more so. Madison's stepmom, Felicia, made the horrible discovery. Went in to tell Maddie that it was time to get out so we could go to bed. And I called her name. She didn't answer. So I went in and I thought she was asleep. Felicia is a nurse, and Madison's dad, Logan, is a firefighter and EMT. They did CPR until paramedics arrived. There was so much water in her little lungs, and it all seemed so unreal. The Lovington, New Mexico medical examiner just announced the cause of death has been confirmed as electrocution. I don't know if it got dropped in the bathtub. I don't know if... She had it sitting on the toilet next to the bathtub playing music. Maybe she reached over to pick it up to change a song. Those are answers we're never going to have. Up here is where Maddie slept. Madison's purses are still hanging from her top bunk. Her little sister, Cambry, told us she used extension cords all the time to charge her phone. She'd get an extension cord and plug it in behind there and ring it up to her bed and tie it around like right here. We were there after the heartbroken family visited the funeral home for the first time. They say Madison dreamed of having an impact on the world. Now they hope that the tragedy of her death will offer a lesson on the dangers of cell phones around water. We're all so attached to our cell phones and our electronic devices and games and everything these days. None of that matters now except for our beautiful angel is gone. <laughs>